everyone and welcome to my uh, Facebook live tonight and I have a um, Technique Tuesday that I want to share with everyone and so I am trying to get everything up and going and give me just a moment here let me see if it's working there we go it is and so um with that being said um i have a technique that is called the impossible card magic trick and so i do have a couple things that i want to mention that when i did my um make it monday last night i did give the wrong host code uh, by accident whenever I printed it it did not uh, put the last letter on there so I'm going to show that host code now um, well I, I will here in just a moment but um, I'll switch to the uh, countertop so I can put all that on there so here's that and then here is the let's see there's the host code and um, right here I it's the same code except for that Y on the end I for whatever reason whenever it printed it did not put that on there and so whenever I made the banner I just took what I had off the printed part so I'm sorry if that was an inconvenience for anybody but I do um, want to welcome you to my uh, Facebook Live. If this is your first time here, uh, welcome. And I am Lisa Fullfruit, your creative coach. And I like to do um, fun little things and share it with all of you. And I hope that I can um, inspire you to create and maybe try some of the different techniques and different Make It Mondays that I uh, share with everybody. So this card is the one that we are going to do and it looks hard but it is not and so I will take that host code uh, off of the screen and then I'll try to remember to put it back up at the end of the video and um, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator already I would love to earn your business and um Become great friends with you so I'm going to take that host code down and we will talk about this card so this card looks like it is super hard but it really isn't but it can be a, a big wow factor because they will be trying to figure out how you did it but it with just a few um, cuts it's super easy and it goes into an envelope and it will fold flat Right down in and everything so that's what I like about it and then it um, also put that down um, it's got a few little elements um, I don't know if there you can see the wink of Stella on the flowers and how they it kind of shimmers there and so I am using the stamp set rabbit here it's country flowers and I am stealing a um, stealing a stamp from this one sending flowers and thinking of you I wanted it to be a thinking of you and so with that being said there isn't one in here so we're gonna use this one here um, I guess it's like a teapot we want to use that floral and then this uh, sentiment here so and the dies that come with it um, I we are using those so some floral pieces or the um, greenery pieces the one for the uh, teapot and then the one for the floral and so I have those um, and so we will get started with this card there's something on my counter 
Okay, now I'm gonna try to stay in camera. I'm gonna put this over here to the side and see if that if if that will stay there. Hopefully there won't be a problem. My camera is starting to slip a little bit. Let's see if I can fix that. made it worse. I'm sorry. Just happened to notice that it's sliding down ever so slightly. All right, so I will bring in our little bits and pieces here. And we'll go from there. All right, so we have a piece of pool party, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we also have another piece of pool party that is one and a half by five and a half. And then we have oops, um, a piece of basic white that's three quarter by five and a half. And then we have also two other pieces of basic white that are two by three and an eighth. And then here are our two pieces of the DSP, that Country Woods. And it is a 12 by 12 pack of paper. But I cut it down to two and a half by four. And so, and then um, we will take care of all the rest of that. So there is that. So um, with this piece here, I'm going to put the... Um, cutting and different things up on the screen. I'm going to bring in my paper cutter. I love this one. Um, Stampin' Up! sells and it's got the scoring blade and the cutting blade and everything. So I'll put that right there. So with this piece, we are going to let me put this up here. There we go. So I'm going, this is, like I said, four and a quarter by five and a half. And we're going to put it in the four and a quarter um, direction. And we're going to score at two and one eighth. So two and one eighth. And I put these um, measurements on there because sometimes when you're covering up, it's hard to tell if you're on it, if you've gone too fast pass it too much so I can see them on there so I'm going to score all right then we're going to turn it and we're going to put it the uh, five and a half at the top and we're going to cut it at two and three quarters down to this score line so two and three quarters so that's half of the five and a half and so we're going to cut down to that score line. So my score line is at the two and an eighth. And it also has these little arrowy things on the edge so that you can see when you make it to your score line. So I made it right there. So we've got that first score mark, I mean that um, cut mark. Now we're going to turn to the opposite side like that. So we scored first, turned it, cut it in half to the score line, and then we're going to go to the opposite side. And then we are going to cut at, let's see, I'll just look at my screen here, at one and an eighth. So I still have it up on the screen. And we're going to cut down to the score line again. So come straight down to right about there. We're going to lift and we're going to slide it down to four and three eighths. So there's one, two, three eighths. Okay. I'm going to bring that score blade down again to that, or that cutting blade down again to that score line. Let's see right here. I still got a little ways to go. Got to put my glasses on. There we go. 
So we have two score lines on this side. So we have one, two, three, four, five sections and three score lines. All right, so we are finished with the paper cutter. And so to get that, um, I'll keep that on the screen for just a moment longer. So like if you want to screenshot it or write it down, you can. Um, but to make it look like the card and the wow, so how this is, and you're probably wondering how do you get that from the way it's made, but I will show you. So take that banner down. There we go. You take the um, right side and the left side and you twist. So I'm going to fold up. And this one I'm going to fold back. Let's see, like that. So now I'm going to take a sander and get my edges. So after so much cardstock cutting, um, it gets a little rough at times. I just have to clean that um, track out a little bit. So there is our card. Um, mine here looks different so if I want it to look just like that one I could go the opposite way do it like that so it doesn't matter it just depends on which way you want it to go so I'll make it look just like that one so I just twisted it and um, brought the right hand forward and plop that up like that and there you go so um, I do have my DSP that I need to cut to fit onto here. I'm going to show you how to do that. I do not have a banner for this one, but it's not hard. Okay, so I'll bring my paper cutter in again. Slide this over. And I'm going to cut both pieces at the same time because I cut it as one piece and then cut it down. So I'm going to bring that like that. And I'm going to open my paper cutter and I want to put this in at, let's see, on the two and a half inch side, I want to cut at seven eighths of an inch. I've got notes here so I make certain I do it correctly so I don't waste my DSP. So I'm setting that at seven eighths of an inch. I'm trying to make certain I've got both pieces. I think one of them shifted when I was scooting it over. So I want both pieces there. And then I'm going to start at the top with my paper cutter. And I am going to cut down to two and an eighth. So I've got my markings on the side here. So I'm going to bring that paper cutter down till this little arrow meets my two and an eighth. So put that in place and bring that up here. So you can see that this little arrow lines up with two and an eighth. Okay. Then I want to lift this up and turn it. And I want to put it in at two and an eighth, like that. And then I'm going to cut down um, whoops, to that score line. Or that cut line and I didn't quite get it where it met completely so it's just right there at that corner so I'm just gonna snip that little corner there we go and so there are my two pieces cut and they are cut the same if I do one at a time there's a chance that I won't have them you know cut exactly the same so now then we're going to put them on our card. So I'm going to put that one there. This one up there. 
on this one here I had it looking like it was going all straight across but I did it differently this time you can do it however you want this is a really fun card and it has a wow factor that um, your friends and family will love getting this card and they will try to figure out how you did that I showed it to my husband and he's like how's that work so I explained it to him so I'm gonna lay that on here so I'm putting the DSP on the pool party so if you wanted them to match up all you need to do is like um, when you have it together just turn it the opposite direction but I don't care one way or another about it being um, going straight across I did it that way to see if it was possible so now then I'm trying other ways so I'm just I want to make certain that that paper stays on because I have the feeling people will play with this quite a bit this on here I'm gonna bring it where I can see it a little bit better now if you want your uh, DSP to go clear up to the score line you can do that but I wanted the equal borders all the way around so there's that so those pieces are down and that part is finished now then we're going to bring in the uh, pool party one inch by five and a half inch and the three quarter inch by five and a half inch and we're going to do a little bit of stamping on this one so i'll bring in that stamp from the uh, simply zanias and uh, my peach pie ink so i'm going to ink this up and you just want to lightly tap and try to line this up like that so there you go and if anybody, you know, if you're watching this live, if you would comment where you're from, um, so I know who all is watching, and you know, tell me hi. And if you're liking this card, if you could give me a big thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. Hearts, thumbs up, all different things. There we go. We're going to line that on there pretty good get the cardstock straight and I'll close this ink because we are finished with the peach pie ink all right so now then we're going to add this to the front of this and I have another piece here that I've already had cut you never know if you make a mistake so I wanted to have and another one so how I do this to because it flimsy here we're going to make it substantial by putting a bridge on here so I'm basically lining this up with another piece of cardstock that's the same dimensions and then I'm going to see about where I want to lay this so kind of like that so I'm going to add glue across this end here crossed right here okay and then I want to glue this one down first I'll get this straightened up again so I put this end down first and then put my finger under there and line this one up with the edge because if you don't whenever you go to put it in the the envelope it um, tends to buckle so I want to 
There we go. So we move that out of the way. And so that bridge across there makes it where it doesn't twist and get out of shape or whenever if it doesn't have the bridge it will twist and different things and so there we go so there's the uh, most of our car now um, I do have a piece of my uh, basic white just for stamping and different things and so I have the floral and my memento black ink that up and then stamp that here that's a nice crisp design there and I colored the flowers with let's see I have light balmy blue that I did the two larger flowers with and then I did the centers with um, the moon uh, misty moonlight light I took the um, summer light summer splash and I did this little flower here the peach uh, pie is the light one, and I did the little buds type um, florals. And then for the greenery, different places, I used the um, light granny apple green. And I brought in my die cut and lined it up. And this is what how it turns out. And I've put some shimmer on the blue. And so I just put the... Uh, misty moonlight in the center and feathered it out and then went back over it with my light balmy blue and um, made it where it had a little bit of dimension and so I've been showing a lot about the uh, using the alcohol blends and so I'm certain you don't want to watch me um, coloring again so I thought I would go ahead and do that one and then this piece of the um, designer series paper is a neat piece because you can use it to stamp the bucket and different things and so I'm going to ink up the kettle and I'll come along here and I'm going to stamp and that's a pretty good crisp image and then I would bring in this one here and uh, die cut it, but I've already done that as well. So I've got it for next time so I can make another one. And then I used a piece of our uh, old olive and used this die cut. And I die cut a couple of these so that I could put greenery behind my flowers. So I have that. I did that ahead of time. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and close this ink because we are finished with the um, black. And now we're going to bring in this collar of the Summer Splash and Pool Party. Or, uh, yeah, Pool Party. I'm going to open this up. Grab me a piece of paper here. Now I did not do this on this one here, but I did it for a swap and I did do this part. So I'm going to bring in my blending brush and pick up a little bit of that ink. Start off the page. I need to pick up some ink. I'm going to start off the page and work my way onto um this little piece of the basic bakes basic white I cannot talk tonight I'm sorry but isn't this a cool card have you tried this card before it is a lot of fun and it makes it look like it is so hard but it is not so I just put a little bit of color you can see the difference here not a lot because I don't want to take away from the beauty of the actual imagery 
close that. Well, yeah, we'll close this up. This one was pool party. And now we're going to open up the summer splash. These off to the side. These others. And now we're going to bring in that stamp that says, so lucky to know you. And we're going to ink that up. Come over here. You want to put this up in the far top left corner. I hope you're enjoying this card. I'm enjoying showing you. All right, so we're going to close this up. It is a lot of fun, and it's not hard. Once you figure out that twist, it, it makes it look super hard, but it is not. All right, so keep finding, losing my um, glue here. Anybody else do that? Have your, what you're wanting right there at your fingertips, but you can't see it or anything. I do that all the time. So I'm putting a little bit of glue and I'm just going to glue this down here at the bottom. Kind of like that. I want the bottom of the white. All right. Now we're going to flip this over and we're going to add glue to the back of it. I guess you could pop this up on dimensionals if you want, but we're going to do some other things that are dimensional. We're going to bring this in here and add that to our card front. It's easier if I pick it up so I can see the border and I'm trying if I'm using the liquid glue so I do have a little wiggle room. There we go. I like that. All right so the card is basically finished. Now we're going to embellish with the floral and I've got these little things and I want to clip them apart. So I think what I'm going to do is trim right here, just follow the leaf, and then cut right there. And then I think I'm going to trim around that one. And so I have three pieces here. I'm going to add glue to the pieces right here and decide where I'm going to put them. So this one I want to go kind of over here off the um, side here so there's contrast with that green and contrast with that peach pie. And then this one here, I'm going to add glue to this one. And I'm going to put it down here towards the bottom so it's cascading out of the floral arrangement. So I'll stick, oops, that about there. So I'm just filling them in. All right. And then this one here, I think I'm going to put it more like off here to the side. I don't want it to stick up too far because of... I want it to still fit in my envelope. I'm just putting little dots of glue on here because we're going to secure this a little bit better when we put it on the card front. So I'm going to come over here, just kind of tuck that behind just a little bit. So like that. So that is our imagery for our floral. All right, so now then I'm going to grab dimensionals. I love dimensionals. I like to pop things up. And I like texture and different things. So I'm going to use the dimensionals sneakily to hold those pieces on there to make certain that they get adhered well with the glue. Put these backing pieces off. Put it in the 
trash and then lift this up. And I like to lay it down so I can see where my edge is. And then I want to work within my dimensions here and decide where it is that I want that to go. I don't want to go too far off because I don't want to put my dimensional going off this section here. So that looks pretty good. Like it'll hold it. It goes off this edge here and that's fine. We just don't want it going too far off the top. And it's like that. And if it comes down here to this edge, that's perfectly fine. So there is that. So then now the second piece, this um, second piece of the basic white, I'm going to add glue to it. And then we're going to turn this over. We're going to add it to the back because this is because this is where you're going to sign your card. You could sign on the back of the whole thing, but so you could sign it back here, but it gives it a little bit more substantialness to have that on there. And it stand, it sits up and it's very pretty. So here's what it looks like when it's sitting up. It still stays up like that and when it sits on your counter so you can display it like that so there is our technique Tuesday and I hope that you love this card as much as I do Isn't that really fun I mean it really gives you a wow factor and it's not hard at all it's super easy but you can make it sound like you know you spent hours on it and so anybody would be thrilled to get this card and so i hope that you um, are inspired and encouraged to try this one and if you need to just go through the video and each step you know do each step you know watch it stop the video and then do yours and then do the next step that's how i learn if i see a card that I'm like, I need to know how to do that one. Then that's how I do it. I just, I watch the video through once and then I watch it again and I look at all the steps and then I stop, I do that step and then I move on to the next one. So, and everybody learns things differently. I just, and once I've done it, then I can, I figured it out. So every once in a while I may have to rewatch a video or things, but, um, it's, it is what it is. So I hope that this was um, explained well to you and that you're able to make this one. And if you have any questions, contact me. I will uh, answer anything that I can. And if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. And hopefully with the videos that I'm doing, the Facebook Lives and with the uh, my YouTube uh, channel, and in the description below, I have listed that. And if you would um, subscribe to my newsletter, it will get you on my email list. And I email out um, new information that Stampin' Up! has to offer. I uh, email out um, different things that are um, um, specials that I have going on, different classes that I have, and so I encourage you to sign up for that newsletter because you get little perks for being, um, you get information from me first um, before I put it out for everybody else, and so I appreciate you joining me for this video. Please give this card a try, and happy stamping, and um, join me for next week for my Technique Tuesday again. See ya. Bye-bye.